The problem name is check if a string contains all binary codes of size k. So given a string, given a binary string s and an integer k, return true if every binary code of length k, every binary code of length k is a substring of s. Otherwise, return false. So what they are saying, we have to return true if every binary code of length k every binary code means length 2 uh, let's say k is 2 we want length 2's binary codes all binary codes of length 2 so what can be the code like we can have binary code means binary numbers like 0 0 we can have 0 1 we can have 1 0 and at last we can have 1 1 so all the combinations of the binary codes of length 2 so these if these like uh, here this is the string and k is 2 so four codes are possible four binary codes are possible of length 2 so if these all fours is present is these these all fours are these all four are present in this string means this string have two two length these all the substring of length two we will it's uh, okay forget about the solution i'm just saying we have to just find out if substrings of the that string s if substring of this string s will contains this zero 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 one one zero and one one what they are saying given a binary string s return to if every binary code of length k is a substring of s means this should be substring of s 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 all binary code should be substring of s if it is if it is possible if it is true then return true if it is not then return false so what what comes in our mind first first the approach is what i am saying first we will calculate first we have to know now that how many substrings are possible of length k how many substrings are possible of length 2 how many substrings are possible of length 3 so what what you can say what you can just think like let's say k is two okay k is two here k is two so we have two positions we have two positions what are the possibility we can what what number we can fill here we can fill zero we can fill one all also what are number we can fill here we can fill zero we can fill one so at every place at every place there are two possibilities 0 and 1 at every place there are two possibilities 0 and 1 so how many places are there there are k places and how many possibilities possibilities of that place two possibilities so how many combinations should how many combinations will this make this will make 2 to the power k combinations 2 to the power k combinations because every place have two choices and there are k places so 2 to the power k combinations here like, like 2 k is 2 so 2 to the power 4 combinations if k is 3 there are 8 combinations 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 you can just make it it will take so long to re to write by hand so you can just make it it is it is starting from 0 0 0 and it will end to 1 1 1 it is from 0 to 7 0 to 7 so total 8 combinations are there so we have to find so these uh, unique or different combinations of size k of binary codes are 2 to the power k now now how we will solve we will find simply what we have to do we we don't have to we do we don't have to do anything about all substrings we just want substrings of length k the 0 0 1 is also substring 
zero zero one is also substring of this. One zero zero one is also substring. But do we have to do do we need this information? Is this important for us? No, it is not important because we only want substrings of like length two. Substrings of length two. So what we will do? We will find all the substrings of length two here. So all the substrings of the length two substrings are zero zero, zero one. Like here zero zero, zero one, one one, one zero, zero one, one one, and one zero. So you can you can say one zero is coming, one one is coming, zero zero is coming. And zero one is coming. All the four substrings are coming. So we will just store them in our map. We will store them string. We will store the strings in our map so that so we can store uh, unique substrings. If zero zero is twice, then uh, it will store ones, no? So we will store the substrings in map. And and at last, what we will say if this map size this map size is greater or equal than 2 to the power k how many com how many different combinations we want we want 2 to the power k combinations if all the substrings of size 2 are present in the map means these all substring these two uh, length two substrings are all the pre all present in the map then its size will its size will equal to this 2 to the power k. If it is, it is satisfying the condition. If this is, if this is true, the map size is equal to 2 to the power k, then we will return true. If it is not, then we will return false. So this is very easy question. What we are doing, we are just finding how many substrings are, how many binary codes are possible of length 2. Okay, it is 2 to the power k. So, means 2 to the power k substrings of length 2 we want from this sub, this string. 2 to the power k different 2 to the power k different substrings we want from this s of length k. So, we will find all the substrings of length 2 of length k and if if we will store them in map set anything you can you can take for different and if that map or set size is equal to this then we will say okay these all different substrings are we have founded we have found sorry so its solution is this you can see i have taken an ordered map it is string and it is because we have to store the string now so and I'm taking a integer i and I'm just going through the loop going through the to the string uh, and j equal to 0 to its size now if I'm just uh, following the window size what I'm doing if i is here j is also here initially i and j is here so now I want size to string so if this j j if j is here if this j minus i plus 1 because it is 0 index so j minus i plus 1 j is 1 here if here is j then j is 1 so j minus 0 i is at 0 plus 1 when it is equal to k means its length is 2 so if i found two lengths length 2 substring then i will i will store it in the map I will store it in the map. So, if j plus 1 minus i is equal equal to k, I am saying store it in the map. S dot sub, sub str you all know. It is a property. It is a function. It is an inbuilt function. So, I am just using it. So, I am storing all the substrings of length k. Now, if mp or mp dot size means map dot map, map size is greater or equal than. It will always equal. Sorry for greater just forget about grid so if this size is greater or equal than 2 to the power k then we will then it this 
this will return true and if it is not then this will return false you can submit the code it is running properly